Greetings from Berlin to everyone around the world. We are coming to you live from the Zeiss Groß Planetarium of the Stiftung Planetarium Berlin. And we are here to welcome the announcement of the winners of the 2023 Best of Earth Full Dome Awards. I'm sure the producers and the creators are on the edge of their seats waiting to know who the winners are. I know I am. And soon we will reveal those winners. This is the second time after 2021 that a Best of Earth program has been created. But before we announce our award winners, I want to name the five full dome festivals across three continents who have teamed up to curate the Best of Earth selection. They are all joining us, us this evening from around the world, and I would like to welcome the teams in Los Angeles, Montreal, Plymouth, Jena, and Melbourne. So a big hello and welcome to Domefest West in Los Angeles, California, United States, the SAT Festival in Montreal, Canada, the Full Dome UK in Plymouth, United Kingdom, Full Dome Festival Jena, Germany, and Dome Under in Melbourne, Australia. 36 full dome films have been nominated across six categories of the Best of Earth Awards. A five person jury of international experts independent from the festival organizers have watched these 36 films, discussed them, and decided who deserves an award. The Best of Earth Awards cooperation was created with the sole purpose of recognizing and promoting the most talented creators and the creative films in the full dome industry. This industry has grown exponentially in recent years and has provided us with some of the most innovative and astounding immersive experiences that we have ever seen. By bringing attention to the best of the best, we are able to celebrate the innovation and magnificence that Full Dome provides. We are excited to showcase the winning films that truly represent the pinnacle of Full Dome immersive content worldwide. We want to extend a special welcome to all of the nominees and winners who are tuning in and have come from all over the globe to join us tonight. Your talent and passion for this immersive genre is what makes it so special. And we are all honored to be able to celebrate you and your achievements. And who are these six winners? Without further ado, I will now announce the 2023 Best of Earth Awards. The first award tonight is the Best Full Dome Short Film. This award recognizes excellence in a short, uh, short full dome film. The winning film in this category will be concise and impactful, demonstrating an innovative use of the full dome format to tell a compelling story in under 20 minutes. And the full dome award in the category best short film goes to Grandma's House, directed and produced by David Gardner. <laughs> Grandma's House stood out as a true testament to the power of the full dome medium. An important subject matter distilled down to a simple but highly effective experience executed cleanly and powerfully that encapsulates the audience within a complex and often heartbreaking reality that affects many thousands of people's lives. The work explores themes of family, memory, and loss and does so in a beautifully empathetic and creative approach as the visible and audible world slowly deconstruct the narrative thread and audience effect increases. Truly a stunning work that properly highlights the unique capacity for empathy that the full dome medium can elicit. And now we're gonna be treated to a short clip from the winner.
just lovely. The second award tonight is the Best Full Dome and Science Educational Film. This award honors high quality full dome films that convey complex scientific concepts to a broad audience. The winner in this category will be a visually impressive and intellectually stimulating film that effectively utilizes the full dome format to educate and inspire. And the full dome award in the category best science and education film goes to Worlds of Ice, directed by Philippe Bailoc and produced by René Chenier, National Film Board of Canada, NFB. Now, Worlds of Ice is a remarkable achievement that highlights the National Film Board of Canada's commitment to producing high quality content. The unanimous positive impression among the members of the jury testifies to the film's quality and its ability to showcase the beauty of nature from the immensity of glaciers to the intricate details of a snowflake. There is excellent quality in every aspect of the production, from the stunning 3D visuals to the live action images and the great use of space in the dome. The film shows 360 degree landscapes of great beauty, highlighting both the strength and fragility of nature on our planet and worlds of ice succeeds in communicating complex scientific concepts in an accessible way. NFB shows its good understanding of the full dome medium, allowing viewers to look all around them as they are taken on a journey, journey that explores the far reaches of our solar system to the depths of the Arctic Ocean. The immersive visuals serve the subject matter of the film and allow audiences to better understand and appreciate the beauty and complexity of the ice world. And with that, I would like us to take a moment to enjoy a clip from the winner. Got a little bit of a chill watching that. <laughs> Very realistic, <laughs> wonderful. Congratulations to Ice Worlds. The third award tonight is the award for Best Full Dome Art and Experiment Film. This award honors an outstanding full dome film that pushes the limits of the medium through artistic expression and innovation. The winner of this award will be a visually impressive and thought-provoking film that challenges conventional ideas of what a full dome film can achieve. The full dome award in the category Best Art and Experiment Film goes to Patita for Eight Voices, directed The jury has written a short statement for a Partita with Eight Voices, which I will share with you now. The jury awards Partita for Eight Voices as the best full dome arts and experiment film of the year for recognizing the piece as an outstanding accomplishment in the medium. The film stands out by its technological excellence and coherent dramaturgical development while using the dome as a canvas to inspire, conveying emotion and contemplation. Bringing a new level of immersion to the composition of Carolyn Shaw and the performance of the vocal group, Room Full of Teeth, it successfully bridges full dome to other creative territories and supports expanding it to wider audiences. Moreover, the work is an assertive creation in the artistic tradition of visual music, transitioning coherently through different cinematic and visual techniques, blending 360 degree footage, 2D, 
and 3D animation with the essential element of the music composition, the human voice. The jury also recognizes the piece has the necessary qualities for a full dome work to reach wider audiences and its world-class production level. While demonstrating a confident knowledge of the dome space and the language of the media, Partita for Eight Voices also contributes to bringing it further. It is therefore acknowledged with the given Best of Earth Award. Let's now enjoy a clip from Partita for Eight Voices. Feels like you're standing right in the middle of them. That was so cool. We have, of course, our next award, the fourth award, is the Best Full Dome Feature Film. And this award recognizes excellence in a feature length full dome film that is longer than 20 minutes. The winning film should be visually stunning and engaging and fully exploit the dome format to tell an immersive and captivating story. The Full Dome Award in the category Best Full Dome Feature Film goes to Land of the Americas, directed by Patrick Bosset. Statement from the jury that I would like to share with you. Lands of the Americas is an enthralling and deeply inquisitive documentary on renowned multidisciplinary artist René Darouin. Darouin, excuse me, René Darouin. Darouin's words snuggle, snuggle nestled in amongst the clever reinterpretations of his work. This film also serves as a dedication to all artists and their chosen creative paths with all of their meanderings and poignant moments along the way. Lands of the Americas has been described as a road movie with Dehouan's memories of Quebec, Mexico, Japan, and the United States twisting and turning around his sublime artworks. The film is a poetic encapsulation of emotional and inspired storytelling. Let's take a look at a little bit of the story. It's kind of intuitive. I go in and they say, what are you coming here to do? I say, I'm doing research on the future. I'm looking for an image of what the future would be. I come back in my Volkswagen bus at night. I have a drawing table and I draw. I create the Techno 1, Techno 2 series. Congratulations again to Land of the Americas. The fifth award tonight is the Best Full Dome Student Film. This award acknowledges outstanding achievement in a full dome film that is five minutes or less and created by a student. The winner of this category will be a technically proficient and creatively distinctive film that demonstrates the potential of the full dome medium. The Full Dome Award in the category Best Student Film goes to Ginofitas, directed by uh, Deborah Passos, Anibal Genes, and Victor Valentin. Produced by the Federal University of Reconcavo de Bahia. The jury has written a short statement about Ginofitas, which I will share with you now. Ginofitas is both ruminative and dynamic with its subject matter in this absorbing short film. The experimentation with earthly watercolors, drawings, and free embroidery techniques to highlight the relationship between humans and plants blends seductively into the dome environment. 
Along with its textured soundscapes and captivating imagery, this film is a delight. Let's take a look at Ginofitas. final award tonight is the Special Jury Selection. This award acknowledges a full dome film that is exceptional and distinct. The recipient of this award may not fit squarely into any of the other award categories, but will be acknowledged for its outstanding contribution to the full dome medium. The full dome award in the category Special Jury Selection goes to Bibi Symphonique, directed by Marcelle Grimaud, Noisy Head Studio, produced by Nicolas Lemieux and Isabelle Pinchot. <laughs> the jury has written a short statement that I would like to share with you now about Bébé Symphonique. As a Full Dome Festival judge, we get to view a lot of submissions, but rarely does a work stand out on its own so effectively as Bébé Symphonique. No other production made for this medium has been created specifically for babies with their needs and interests in mind, which is what makes Bébé Symphonique so unique in the Full Dome world. Everything about this piece is carefully thought out and planned. The soft lighting, the gentle animations and the soothing sounds are all tailored to engage babies and create an atmosphere of relaxation and comfort. The music used in the show is a combination of classical pieces and original compositions, all carefully selected to help babies develop their cognitive abilities and emotional intelligence. Overall, Baby Symphonique is a wonderful and truly unique full dome show that introduces babies to the world of classical music in a fun and engaging way. It is clear that the creators have put a lot of thought and effort into designing this show, and their dedication has paid off. I highly recommend this show to parents and caregivers who want to expose their babies to the beauty and music and provide them with a memorable and enchanting full dome experience. Very well done. Let's enjoy a little bit of Bébé Symphonique. The target audience may be babies, but I think all ages can enjoy that film. Congratulations to all of the award winners. Congratulations to all the artists and producers who submitted their work to the Best of Earth contest. All 36 nominated shows are extraordinary examples of what immersive media and full dome shows can offer. Unfortunately, we cannot offer a quality 360 degree stream for these masterpieces. However, three of the award winning films will be shown after the international stream for our local Berlin audience, so stay tuned. But there is one more thing that we want to announce, something that is absolutely new for the 2023 Best of Earth contest. The five festivals felt that live performances in the Dome um, that's a general uh, genre that is increasingly significant, and artists who create performances in the 360-degree immersive theater should be acknowledged. 
There's no way to standardize and compare live performances or even judge them like regular full dome shows. That's why the festivals decided to give select live performances an unjuried honorary mention, simply to recognize the existence of the genre and encourage producers and artists to develop it further. I will now share with you the live shows that were performed in the last two years, which will receive the 2023 honorary mentions. And I would ask that you hold your applause until all of the honorary mentions have been named. Sounds of the Ocean, live experience by Joshua Sam Miller. Magical Mystery Dome, featuring Brit Beat by Randy Gesta, Gestia. Dome community. Talking about Yena, which we just mentioned a moment ago, we have two special guests here tonight from the Yena Full Dome Festival, Katie Ledina and Mickey Rehman. And I'd like to invite you both to come up to the stage, please. Since Yena is a partner in the cooperative of the International Full Dome Festivals, they may be able to give us some background information about the best of earth process. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Thank Hello. you, Anna. Yes, thank you. Um, would you uh, both like to quick introduce yourselves to everyone here um, and maybe not just tell us what your roles are in uh, the Yena Fulton Festival, but also uh, a little bit why you took such an interest in full dome uh, visualizations and programming and why you want to uh, continue on with these festivals and making them more well known. Yes, well, thank you for inviting me to tell you my life story, but I'm gonna cut it short. Uh, my name is Mickey Rehman. I'm professor at Bauhaus University, teaching immersive media, along with Kate Ladina. And um, tonight, I think my invisible hat uh, refers to uh, that the Jena Fulham Festival and myself are part of this magnificent cooperation of international Fulham festivals. They team together because they all share this passion for the medium of Fulham. And I think if we um, bring this best of earth together from three continents and five festivals, then we can amplify the effect that each individual festival has. So this brought the, uh, the festivals together and um, we are really thrilled to uh, sit back and enjoy the show. And maybe I'd like to mention that we want to make it very easy for the producers and the artists and we want to make it exciting for the audience. It's easy for the producers because they don't directly submit to the Best of Earth Festival. They continue submitting to the 
participating partners. We know it, Domefest West, Fulham UK, Sudfest, Dome Under Festival, and Jena Fulham Festival, we come to you in a second. And then we have um, this process of really looking again. They've been running in festivals, but the best of earth kind of is, is a meta level of excellence. And you, uh, you, you presented these films wonderfully. So Thank my, you. My, my kudos to your skills as moderator, as the best, best of earth moderator ever. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, is, is there a way that you can ask me a question about the uh, best of earth full on performances? Maybe, because? I, th I think I could do that. <gasps> I'm relieved. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I would love to know a little bit um, what you thought of the performances this year. And um, maybe give us a, a little bit of insight into, well, I guess you weren't on the jury yourself since you were one of the organizers since we, we heard that earlier. But um, maybe I think I heard that there might be someone in the audience too and maybe he's given you some insight into how that jury process works as well. Well, there's always amazing people in the, uh, in the audience, always, even tonight, of course. And of course, worldwide in the stream. Why we believe the uh, quality of live performance in the Dome res uh, demands, deserves special attention is, it's a genre whose time has come. There haven't been so many live performances, but Berlin is blessed with very good concerts. Jena, all these festivals realize there's more to the Dome as a performance space than uh, meets the astronomical eye. And so all these things, all these performances with dedicated individuals, logistically, it's a nightmare to get these performed in the Dome. But then the response of the audience, of the artists, is so immense that we think, whoever did this, great. And whoever wants to do it, feel encouraged. So go through the um, hardship of nightmarish logistical preparations and perform in the Dome in 360 degree life with choreography, music, dance, and uh, 360 degree whatever. So that's what you've been recognizing with these seven wonderful uh, live shows that have been nominated or have been that received the uh, honorary award of excellence in this genre. Maybe next year, maybe next time, we find a way to perform them all here on the stage. Who knows? So, so there's going to be a next time then? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, what you heard is um, a subtle hint that yes. The answer is yes. And the um, International Festival agreed that when we've had the first round in 2021, now we are in 23, wouldn't it be nice to have a biannual event and come together for the next third best of earth process contest in the beautiful year of 2025? Well, I am looking forward to that already then. So do we. Excellent. I'm gonna bounce over now to Kate. Uh, you are uh, one of the directors of the Full Dome Festival in Jena, and I would love to hear a little bit more about that, and I believe it's coming up soon too, isn't it? Yes, very, very soon, in about a week actually. Next week we have our Jena Full Dome Festival, as you can maybe see on our very dark eyes, and we're getting very tired, but very excited, because we're going to have a great... Um, obviously great film program consisting of um, a little more than 40 feature short and new talent films but apart from that we also are looking to of course always looking to expand the place of the planetarium even more so immersive theater has become a huge part of the festival in the past couple of years and we're very happy that we're having a lot of great performances there which are also dance and theater performances um, but also musical performances. And we're actually opening the festival with an, you could say, older show, but it never got its deserved premiere because of the pandemic. So three years ago, um, there was a virtual premiere of uh, a show called Kur Commander, which is, you could probably say, one of the first or the very first um, Dome Flix series and it will open the festival this year, so we're excited to bring it back and to have a, 
a real premiere this time. And apart from that, we're also um, venturing into other adventures. For example, we're bringing back yoga in the dome because of high demand, because last year it was so popular. So we're bringing it back um, and it's amazing. I've done it um, several times myself, so I'm looking forward to that. Very relaxing and also nice to have a bit of movement in between. And yes, we of course have our famous forum talks where experts from around the world are coming to Jena, joining the festival and talking about the yeah, what's new in the field of full dome. And um, we have also some new things that we haven't done before. For example, we have a club night with um, female uh, DJs and VJs um, performing the whole night from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., which is probably something that happens a lot in Berlin, but for Jena, it's something that doesn't happen every day. So, yeah, also excited to to party all night long. That sounds like a super exciting program and I am really sad that I am not gonna be able to travel down there to, to be there this year for it, unfortunately. Um, still recovering from some knee surgery. So for, for me, I can't make it down there. Is there any way that I can participate at all in the festival? Yes, fortunately there is. We are also streaming the festival and um, I don't know, it fits kind of the theme tonight. We, um, um, there was an award ceremony. We also have an award ceremony, right? We're giving away Janus Award. The award is called Janus. Um, and it's going to be streamed for free for everyone to see. So we're gonna be very happy when you join us there. But you can also um, join us in the ticket stream if you want to, so please, if you can't come to Jena, which is always recommended, but if you can't come, please join us in the stream too. Yes, Jena will come to you. Yes. Well, I think we have just a little bit of time left before the lucky audience members here get to enjoy a few of the, the winners from tonight. Um, and I would like to, to give you the opportunity, is there, is there anything else that we really need to know either about Best of Earth or the, the Yena Foldome Festival? What, what do we need to know moving forward into the future about these two wonderful collaborations of putting out an amazing medium? Ladies, you're both looking at me, and uh, this is, I'm very proud of this. I would say, let's make a little excursion into Roman mythology. Kate mentioned the uh, award that the Jena Fulham Festival gives out for outstanding productions is called the Janus Award. Now, as we all know from our Latin class, Janus was a Roman god that had the strange features of having a face back and forth. So that god, did, was able to do something that we can't. He could sit in the middle of a full dome show and get the whole 360 degree visual display without turning, the, turning his head. So we felt this is a great uh, patron saint to give away into the full dome awards uh, to, for, the, for the best full dome shows. So if you got curious who will win the Janus, the uh, Roman statue of 360 degree vision, Tune in into the live stream for the, it will be on Saturday, the 13th of May. This is why we are so charged. We are full of adrenaline in preparation of this. And then coming out of the magnificent Best of Earth Award, honoring the best productions for the last two years, we got new shows in the Jena Fulham Festival, new awards, and we've got a patron saint, Janus, who will oversee that it all is happening in a fair and beautiful way, looking through two faces in all possible directions. You say yes? Yes to everything you said. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wonderful. And if there are any Full Dome producers out there watching on the stream or sitting here with us today, um, and they want to be considered for Best of Earth, they just need to submit a work to their, their most local full dome 
award um, organization, correct? Festival. That's that's the beauty of it. You, that's no extra work for the producers. They choose any of the four or five festivals, submit their work, and um, keep their fingers crossed because then these festivals decide which of their program will be elevated to the best of earth level. I also want to mention that we have an associated partner, that's Immersa, a great organization that really brings the uh, immersive scene together. And they had a great program where the best of earth people could demonstrate and explain what it is all about. And that that's still somewhere online. You'll find it through Immersa. And yes, I mean, how exciting is that? We have five festivals that have great programs, local audience, international contribu contributors. And then, I don't know, um, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm so, probably for the next two years, I'll be under adrenaline to wait for the Best of Earth 2025 <laughs> contest. I'm looking forward to it already myself. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, it's one of the best things to come out of the pandemic for me, because it probably wouldn't have happened uh, without the pandemic. Yeah. So the first Best of Earth um, collaboration was born in uh, 2021. Now it's two years later, and we're hopefully going to continue. And um, yeah, we're super excited. It's, it's, it's so great to connect with people and with festivals from all over the world. It's just another another dimension for me. It's great. So um, we're looking forward to continuing, hopefully, for a long time. I hope so, too. And I would like to thank you both, Kate and Mickey, for being here today and giving, giving us an interesting look at what goes on a little bit behind the scenes of these Full Dome festivals and, of course, uh, best of Earth, why we're all here this evening. So thank you again so much for being here this evening to, to talk with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna. Welcome. Be well and happy and uh, stay tuned for the next two years. Thank you. I definitely will. Okay. And for those of you who are watching from all over the world, I want to thank you all for joining us so much tonight for the Best of Earth Full Dome Awards Ceremony. And we will be signing off now, so please take care of yourselves, stay healthy, and keep looking up. For the Berlin audience here in the Zeiskos Planetarium, we have a special...